what you're watching we want to know what you watching and this time we're going to talk about all the fall pilots that have been happening now granted there are some we haven't seen uh, we're mostly going to talk about the ones we have seen and our thoughts on them and whether you should watch them or not yeah. So, why don't you talk about maybe something that you've been really excited for that you've been liking? Scream Queens. I've been excited for that since they announced it. Because it was going to be Ryan Murphy working on it. I like mm -hmm. a lot of the other shows he's done. And he managed to get Jamie Lee Curtis involved in the show too. So, that was announced like a long time ago. And then yeah. it's finally, finally on TV. And I've seen the first two episodes. Mm -hmm. And I'm loving it. It's funny. Uh, mixed with a little bit of scary, mystery, thriller. I think a lot of the stuff in it's working and it's really good. It is. It is. I didn't, I mean, I knew I would probably like it because I liked Glee for a little while and I haven't seen American Horror Story, although he's probably going to make me watch the season, um, which starts this week, I think. I, I mean, I think I, it was super funny. I've seen the first episode twice already because I had to watch it with more people and I thought it was hysterical and even, and it, it's really fast paced too. So. Mm -hmm. There's things you miss the first time that you watch it. If you go back and watch it, you're going to be like, oh, but then this, you know? So yeah, definitely give it a try. Um, it is slightly, um, what is the best word I'm working for? It's not crass. It's just, it's not a family show. It's, oh, no. it's not at all. Mm -hmm. Not just because of the murder gore aspect of it, but also because of a lot of the uh, dialogue and language is very... <laughs> I wouldn't say it's like, if you've seen American Horror Story, it's not like that level. But it's maybe a couple of notches yes. below. Next, I would like to talk about the Muppets because, um, I mean, if you want to talk about the fact that people are all up in arms about the Muppets because they're not for children, Newsflash never were for children. They were always for adults. That's why they were created. If you want children puppets, you will go to Sesame Street. If you want adult puppets, you go to the Muppets. That's the point. But anyway, the Muppets, it's, it's hysterical. Another very fast paced show, uh, only 20, 25 minutes long, yeah. so it's a good watch. Um, I, it is funny like the Muppets like grew up and now all of a sudden they're having like real world issues and you know things like that happening to them it's it's like probably the most amazing modern take on the Muppets that I've seen and I'm a, I'm a Muppet fan I'm a diehard fan I have been watching them since I was tiny tiny who is your favorite Muppet Fozzie Bear. I love really? Fozzie Bear. Because yeah. I've always loved him since a kid. He was a bear, and then he always told like bad jokes. Mm -hmm. And I've just always loved, loved that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the Muppet Babies when I, I was a kid, watched that. And love the Muppet Babies. Oh, yes. Yeah, he, he was cute. He was cute. I, li I like a lot of different characters. Um, I love Janice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think she's hysterical. Um, Pepe the Prawn is another one I like a lot. I mean, but then, you know, Kermit is probably my favorite. In fact, w I mean, just because he's he's Kermit. Mm -hmm. I used to have a Kermit doll, and then when I was growing up, I had a Kermit stocking holder that would sit on the mantelpiece, and his legs would cross, and then you'd hang the stocking from his foot. I don't That's know cool. what happened to that, and I totally miss it. Uh, if you ever see it again, please tell me, because I want another. But yes. <laughs> Kermit is my favorite, um, but I, I like a lot of them. Statler and Waldorf, I mean, they're all just so uh, great. Like, I, I, how can you pick just one? I don't know. <laughs> so yes, The Muppets, make sure you check it out again. Um, it is not as crass, crass and harsh as Scream Queens, mm -hmm. but again, it's one of those things that like, the kids probably won't get the adult jokes. It'll go over their yeah. head. So you're okay to watch it with the kids as long as you have that parental guidance. Yeah, that, it's PG. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't think it's worse than the movies, the recent movies. Oh yeah, no, yeah. it's not. It's I mean, not it's, on par. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so other new show, Heroes Reborn. Yeah. Very good. I uh, liked, yeah. I like the first episode. I haven't seen the second one yet. I did. But uh, I it yeah, one. I like where it's going so far. Mm hmm. Um. Yeah. Every episode, it's kind of like it's like they got back to the first series of Heroes, where you know it, it's the mysteries unraveling, but it's different too because you understand the universe, especially if you've watched it before. You definitely understand the universe just as much. Yeah. I mean, I, there are some characters that I don't necessarily care about too much, but I love that they brought back HRG and that it looks like they're going to be bringing back Hero. And they're going to yeah. be bringing back Parkman and maybe Micah, I think I saw. The rest of them are all new. So, you know, I, 
It is what it is. Yeah. Oh, maybe her shirt, sure, like Mohinder, might be back too. He's kind of back. Yeah. We're not gonna spoil why he's yeah. back, but he kind of is. Um, but the new characters are interesting. Oh, Molly Walker, of course. Oh. Of course, it's not the same one. She's older now, but mm. she is back also. Um, if you guys like the first season of Heroes, definitely give this a shot because you might like it. Yeah. I liked it better than the second season. <laughs> I've only seen the first episode. Season three. <laughs> better than season three. Yeah, I didn't yep. get that far. Once Upon a Time is back. Yes, it is. I'm liking it. Only one episode. That, there was an episode last night, but I didn't get We didn't watch it yet. Yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. We don't have time. So much stuff on the weekend. I, yeah. I like... I, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, it's kind of a spoiler, but not really, because if you've been watching the trailers, you know what happens. Mm. Eva Emma is just, is awesome. I don't know why I like the bad guys in these, yeah. these shows. They're just more complex, way, but yeah, yeah. she's... Yeah. she's. I, I think that as an actress, she does a lot better as evil Emma than she does as good Emma, which is my opinion. Yeah. I mean, it's like Regina. Like, when she's evil, that like that's some of the like best parts yeah. of the show. Even though when she does try to be good, it's very it seems very heartfelt and very nice with right. Regina. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of fun to have like another fun evil villain in this. A Mindy Project is now on Hulu instead of on Fox, and it's fine because I believe now they just up their game a little bit more because they're allowed to do more that the censors don't let them do. And I'm not saying that it's a gross show and that it's really offensive. Um, I would I would say it's probably along the lines with the Muppets of what they do and say. Um, but, you know, Mindy is pregnant. We knew this at the end of the last season. She's pregnant with Danny's baby. Will they get married or won't they? He has issues. She wants to do it. What will happen? I don't know. But it is, it's still just as funny and I, I love I love that show. It, it's really great. So, Mindy Project, yay. Minority Report. I did watch two episodes of Minority Report, and due to other shows that I like better, I probably will not be continuing to watch it. Uh, it is interesting. If you like the movie, you'll probably like the show. I do want to see where it kind of goes, but maybe I will catch it all on Netflix, but I just have this feeling it's not going to stay. Yeah. I, I have a feeling they're going to cancel it. That's just my gut. Mm -hmm. But if you're interested in it, it does follow the tale of the, what do they call them? Precogs. Yeah. Um, one of the two boys, one of the twins. Actually, they're all three of them are in it, but it's mainly about Dash. So if you uh, like that kind of thing, you'll probably, you'll probably like this. If you have time to watch TV, which I watch a lot, as you can tell. All right, so another show we've been checking out is on Hulu. Uh, it's a Hulu original show called Difficult People with uh, Billy... Um, you might know him from his YouTube series, uh, Billy on the Streets. He was in Parks and Rec. Uh, he always uh, talks like years. this. Yeah. And yeah, like I think it's hilarious. It's the kind of humor that I like at times because I feel like it's what they do and say in the show is stuff that I'm always thinking, but I would never be brave never. enough to ever say. <laughs> but they just say it and they're just like, whatever, don't care. Yeah, and I love I love that about it. And there are some consequences <laughs> to what they say as oh, well. <laughs> but even though they are, they're that's why we, we think it's called terrible people. They're terrible people. But on the <laughs> other hand, they're just honest. Mm -hmm. You know, so hey, you right. kind of start <laughs> feeling for them in a little way, which is you know that's sad, but it yeah. happens. Yeah. So if you guys are liking that kind of like. That, that's kind of an offensive show. I mean, <laughs> I mean, not in what they say, like, you're like, oh, I can't believe they said that about that person, you oh, know? Yeah. Basically, they do a lot of that kind of thing. Um, it's on Hulu, though, so they can get away with that yeah. kind of thing. But yeah, totally check that out. It's funny. Speaking of Hulu, there's another show on Hulu called Another Period. I have only watched oh, one yeah. episode, and it's literally like Downton Abbey meets the Cardassians. Uh, in a way, yeah. because that uh, bunch of rich people, <laughs> and it, it's it. You want to talk about an offensive show? This show is offensive. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna watch more of it. I might later if I get really bored. But oh, I don't know about the show. I really don't. You liked it. Yeah. He was like over in the in the corner, like cackling, like ah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. What did you think about that show? I thought it, I thought it was funny because yeah, it's kind of like a mix of that time period it's in the time period of like kind of like Downton Abbey-ish or it's like it was in America though right it is so it's like the beginning of America and then but like you mix in the personalities of these like very self-centered rich people and it's ridiculous and yeah. hilarious 
just yes. Uh, next up, we have Limitless. Take off the movie uh, with Bradley Cooper, who does make a three-minute appearance in the end of the first episode, which is all I've watched. I, if I wasn't watching other shows, I would probably continue to watch the show, but I'm, I'm not really interested. It, it's kind of the same thing. Like you take the pill, and your brain can do a bunch of things that it couldn't do before because it speeds up your productivity. Mainly, I don't want to watch it anymore because I found Blind Spot, and if you guys are watching blind spot you really should basically the premise is a chick appears in the middle of new york city with tattoos all over her body and it with a tag that says call the fbi this guy from the fbi needs you have to call them and through i've watched two episodes so far and through what i've seen it's like a huge treasure hunt of them trying to pre prevent crimes. And so that's one of the reasons why I'm not watching Minority Report or Limitless anymore is because as Marshall says, they are all three pretty much the same show. Weird person shows up, can do strange things that help people solve crimes. Um, coming back shows, we got Modern Family, just as funny, only Alex goes off to college. So she is gone and uh, Luke turns into a hipster. Yeah, um, it is kind of funny, but that's basically what's happened in the first couple of episodes. I, I love Modern Family and I think the writing is always just so amazing and I love the characters, so yeah. super excited. Yeah, I, I haven't watched Modern Family probably like the last two seasons, and so but I don't feel like I've missed much. I watched yeah. um, an episode like two weeks ago, and it was, I think it was like the new one. Mm -hmm. and. I felt like, you know, just back in the mix with it all, and yeah, I love the humor. It's a, everyone's perfect with their comedy, timing, everything, like mm -hmm. everybody, this cast is like perfect for this type oh, of yeah. show. Oh so, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's fun, yeah. I love it. Okay, next up is Scandal. Um, I was actually super excited because a couple nights ago on Periscope, Tony Goldwyn was on there, and I was like, he was like, he's live, and I'm like, really? So I go over to Periscope, and he was doing some like, oh, I wish I could remember what it's called, Touch? touch america or touch africa i don't remember what the charity was but there was like this marching band and basically what they were saying was they have dinner at this place uh it was like a big airplane hangar and then they were going to take everybody in the plane to guatemala to show them the work that they were doing there and i was like this is random but it was like like this is what we've become now like not not only are we getting pictures from like celebrities and talking to them on twitter but now it's full-on live video of what they're doing on the moment in periscope like what has our world become scandal I do not feel like Scandal has hit it yet for this season. A lot of people are like, the twists and the turns and all this stuff. Well, I don't really feel that way, but I still love the show. I mean, it's always a will they, won't they situation. Like, will Olivia go with the president? Will she go with, uh, what's his name? Scott Foley's character. Yeah, yeah him. Um, yeah, I can't remember his name. But will, who will she go with? Okay, so, I mean, I guess in the long scheme of things, she's probably going to end up with the president, whatever. Um, there are a lot of characters that are no longer in the main part of it. Like, Cyrus no longer works in the White House anymore. He's been kicked out. And if I'm spoiling things, I'm really sorry, but this is, this is kind of where we are. Um, <laughs> Huck and Quinn are fighting, hate each other, and then they don't hate each other. They're trying to make up. Uh, there's a lot of weird things going on. So, like, the big thing, which I'm just, I'm going to spoil this right now because I feel like it's really interesting, is that Olivia gets outed as the president's mistress. The world now knows. So how do they come back from that? That's kind of like what this season is about. Um, so yes, it's 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 certainly just as interesting, but I mean I know I like I really like the characters in this show a lot, but I don't know. Like you haven't yeah. watched it in a little while, right? Who yeah. who do you think Olivia should end up with? I would say the president. I feel like you know from what I've seen of the first few seasons, uh, I don't know. I feel like they really fell in love with each other and loved each other for who they were. Mm. I mean I don't know how things have changed, but. Um, I, I felt like her liking the other guy was more just kind of a he of the moment passion kind of thing. Well, I think it I it did start out that way, but I yeah. think it's very different now. Oh, okay. He keeps her grounded. Oh, um, oh I can't okay. remember her name. Uh, his name I can't. Um, but Scott Foley's character, it, like he was tasked to protect her, yeah. even though she didn't know that. And then she just kind of was like, well, you know, he's here. I might as well just be with him. But 
he is so in love he's so in love with her that uh -huh. he's willing to sacrifice himself he's willing to kill for her he's willing to put everything else aside he's willing to give her up and say you need to go with the president so she will be happy the president doesn't do that he's selfish he he just wants what he wants he's willing to break up his marriage he's willing to do whatever he wants so that's why i'm not in that camp i don't uh -huh. want her to end up with the president i want her to end up with this other guy uh -huh. i really do i'm kind of just <laughs> <laughs> Where I left off, I was kind of interested in um, the wife. Um, oh, Melly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was at a point where she was, like, getting frustrated with stuff, and she was like, I'm going to run for president kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. she's a senator now. Oh. Yeah. Um, I yeah. have to catch up with you. Yeah, she's a senator. She, I was getting really interested in her storyline. Uh, so that she, right now, she's a senator so that she can go to the White House after that. Mm. That's what she's doing. She's using the president as leverage and had yeah. an affair last season. <gasps> Spoiler, but whatever. It's yeah. She I guess she deserves it. Yeah. So Thursday nights, Shonda Rhimes. Let's go into how to get away with murder. There's a new murder um, that they're trying to. Well, we kind of already know who did that murder. It's not a big thing. However, um, the, the thing that they're you know okay. So at the beginning of last season, it was who murdered um, the professor's husband right so you're trying to figure that out like you see the scenes from it and you're like who murdered him well in this one what you see at the beginning of the first episode is that she the professor is laying dying in this house gunshot wound blood and the students are all like running away and like standing over her and like we gotta go we gotta go and you're like what happened she is dying. <laughs> what is going on? So that's kind of what they're doing this season is like, uh, where does she get to this point that she is now dying on the carpet of this mansion? That reminds me of Revenge. They've yes. A couple times. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yes. Okay, we have a couple more. Um, we have a new show. I watched The Grinder. I thought it was very funny. So The Grinder is basically about a, a Rob Lowe's character who plays a lawyer on TV. And Fred Savage's character, who plays a lawyer in real life. And this is Mark's of Fred Savage's return to acting. He did not want to do, I was reading this in Entertainment Weekly. He did this whole interview about how his life plan was never to go back to acting. He likes to direct. In fact, when he was in The Wonder Years, he was like, I just want, I'm so fascinated with the guy behind the camera and the decisions that they make, that's what I want to do. So they send him the script to this and he's like, yeah, I'd like to direct this. And they're like, no, we want you in it. And he's like, no, no, I don't want to. And I guess he let him down a couple times, and I don't know what it was, but he finally was like, okay, I'm going to do this. It is funny. It's really funny, because it's exactly what you would think. You know, you're sitting at home, and you're watching Law and & Order, and you're watching CSI, and all these procedural dramas, and you're like, I could do this. I know who it is. <laughs> You know, this is exactly what you think of with this, with yeah. Rob Lowe's character. He's been a lawyer for 20 years, and now he wants to take the bar <laughs> and be a lawyer in real life. And his, like, honestly, being a lawyer is all about logic. You know, it's about putting together the evidence and figuring mm -hmm. out things and then presenting your case in a logical manner so that people get it, right? Mm -hmm. So technically, it's plausible. <laughs> 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 but no, it's it's funny. Like like Fred Savage, like obviously as a director, I feel like he's really studied the people that he's directed as well. There's a lot of like osmosis and um so his acting ability even has gone up a little bit more too as well. So That's cool. this is definitely funny. If you if you wanna check it out, um I believe it's on Fox. Yes, mm -hmm. Fox. Um Agents of Shield started oh, yeah. again. And um there is a new Hydra? It's not really Hydra. I can't remember what it's called, though. I don't know if they even really said the name. Oh, maybe they didn't. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, there's this new corporation that's basically out to get them. Um, because they're they're trying to hunt the... Inhumans. The Inhumans. Yeah. They're both trying to hunt the Inhumans. One yeah. of them is to save them, and the other one is <clears> to <throat> kill them. Or something. We're not exactly sure what they're doing with them. But they are. Yeah. yeah. Well, there are certain characters that we don't know where they are. For example, oh. Simmons. Yeah. She, last we saw, she was inside the monolith, and we don't know where she is. And Fitz is having a, a breakdown. A total breakdown. He just wants her back. Um, mm -hmm. Agent May. Not really sure where she is either. She's just. Well, he said he she went on vacation, but then she went AWOL. Yes. So back. we don't know where she is. We don't know where Grant is. He 
he's out doing something bad, I'm sure. Um, I think the last TV show that we can talk about is Last Man on Earth, um, which for me was kind of a surprise hit. I was like, really? This show doesn't look good. And then I started watching it, and it's actually really clever because, you know, in the first season, it was all about them in Tucson. And there were like seven of them that all survived some kind of sickness, as happens um, in these world ending scenarios. And so they form this community, but then, you know, he's a jerk. Uh, so they kick him out but then the girl who he got married to in the first place then they got divorced um, because basically he wanted to have sex with her and she wouldn't do it unless they got married and then other things happened so they got divorced but then at the very end of the first season she decides to go with him when he gets kicked out so they travel the world and if you guys have saw the first one the first season he was traveling the world in an RV because obviously that that's a great way to go you have your bed and everything so you know yep. great way so <laughs> in the second season he's in a freaking like air force bomber driving down the street <laughs> what really <laughs> yeah he's weird um so the, it's the two of them and they're in the bomber and they're like you know doing stuff he accidentally drops a bomb on the on the supermarket parking lot <laughs> so they're like oh no so anyway um they're traveling around and um, they're staying at the White House and because uh, <laughs> why wouldn't you? I mean, if you had anywhere in the United States to go, why wouldn't you sleep in the White House? But yeah, so they're, they're in the White House and she really misses people. So she wants to go back to Tucson. He does not. He can't because if he goes back, they're probably going to kill him because he's a jerk. And um, so what happens is they're, they're going along. They stop at a gas station and next thing you know she's mad so she goes she goes out to go she likes to be dazzled so she goes to like this craft store like on the center um like next to the rv and she's getting her stuff and she's bedazzling but he doesn't know she's gone so he leaves and doesn't realize it until he's really far down the road and now he can't find her so she's at some gas station who knows where and he's lost <laughs> so he goes well there's plenty of cars around because no one's driving. Maybe she went back to Tucson. So he goes to Tucson. She's in Oklahoma. Oh, and here's the other mystery about it all. At the end of the last season, it was revealed that his brother is still alive in a space station in the air because he didn't get the virus because he was up in the space station. So he's not dead. He's still there with some worms that or for science, I don't know. So you see this weird triangle thing happening. He's in Tucson, by the way, nobody left in Tucson. We don't know what happened to them all. It's burned uh -huh. out. Oh. So he's by himself in Tucson, she's by herself in Oklahoma, and the brother's up in the air. How will it all come together? Intriguing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, if you thought, eh, this show, whatever, give it a try. It's funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there are some that we haven't seen yet. Like, unfortunately, I haven't seen the Neil Patrick Harris show, uh, Best best Time Ever. Best yeah. Time Ever. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen that show yet. Uh, you wanted to check out Blood and Oil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then like. there's Grandfathered, which is the one with John Stamos. Um, I was originally wanting to check out Dr. Ken, but I decided I didn't want to because it got bad reviews. So, um, But what we are looking forward to is Walking Dead. We already said that. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend and Supergirl on the CW. Uh, I don't know a lot about Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, but I'll probably check it out and let you know. Maybe I'll write about it on the blog. Um, if there's any shows that you think we should check out that we didn't mention, make sure you put them down below. This is going to be a super long video as it is. Actually, I just thought of a show coming up that I want to see. Ash versus the Evil Dead. Yes. It's on Stars. It is on Stars, and I don't I know if it. we get that. Also, if you want to talk about shows we can't get, Con Men, uh, which is Nathan Fillion and Alan Tudyk, and it's on Vimeo, oh, yeah. but it's subscription based, so we can't get it yet. I'm very sad. I want to watch it. So thank you so much for watching us, because we're what you're watching. And until next time, keep calm. Stay zany. Bye bye.